Let's review the American Society of Magical... Anyway, you've got a lot of black people saying this movie pissed them off for how stupid it was, and then on the other side, you have a giant cast of some iconic black actors that are all in support of it, so we're left with a gigantic divide of supporters and review bombers, all with valid points that me, a white guy, isn't gonna be able to add much to. Like, it was a little surprising to me that a movie that made fun of how stupid The Green Mile is had reviewers saying this was actually worse than The Green Mile. This was made for white people, and I was kinda like, I, I don't know, are you sure? Granted, I'm white, but this movie does nothing to make problematic white people feel better. The film clearly isn't condoning the existence of this magical society. It's just a metaphor for Justice Smith's character and his inner struggle that he feels to stay alive in America, he either loses his identity and self-worth supporting white fragility, or he embraces his autonomy, making whites uncomfortable to the point of persecution. It's a thin metaphor to be sure, but it's still a metaphor nonetheless. And Justice Smith goes against the society by the end in a great monologue scene and inspires the other members to do the same thing, so they're clearly not saying the society is okay. Three out of five stars for me and follow my Letterboxd account link to my bio for more.